So today we're going to learn about <clears throat> polar equations. So in this section, we're going to learn about plotting points in polar coordinates, converting polar to rect rectangular coordinates, and rectangular to polar coordinates. Also, we're going to be graphing polar equation, converting a polar equation to a rectangular equation, and converting a rectangular equation to a polar equation. So let's start with the first problem. So we're going to um, plot plotting points in, cor in polar coordinates. So it says plot the points whose polar coordinates are given. So we're given negative 2, comma 45 degrees. So you could think of um, the negative 2. They say that the negative 2. So what you do is, um, it's not like... It's not like the um, x and y coordinate where you could first this negative two is our radius, so you could think of the radius as the x value. So we can plot it as negative two. Here's the here's negative two, right? And then what you do is you have to look at the degree. Now since forty five is a positive, we're gonna go down forty five degrees, right? Because this is forty five degrees is right. This is how much 45 degrees is. This is 45, right? So you start with the radius, which is negative 2, and then you you determine um, the degrees, which way is it going, positive or negative? So it's positive 45, so it should be right here. So this is our point. So here's a little um more in depth. So this is the polar axis. This is the pole. This is the radius, and then this is the theta. So we need to know how to do this because um, we're gonna have to we're gonna graph polar equations, and we'll we'll go over more of this. So if it was negative two, what if it was negative? What if it was negative two comma ninety degrees? So here's negative two. We said this is forty five, so we need 45 and a 45 which is 90 so it would be around here right that's negative 2 and 90 degrees what if it was negative 2 and then negative 45 so we know our radius is negative 2 so we're, instead of going down we're going to go negative so it would be right here. This would be negative two, comma negative forty-five. We'll go over more. Okay. So now we are converting the polar coordinates of each point to rectangular coordinates. So we have a negative, we have a coordinate of negative square root of 6, comma negative 60. So you could think of this negative 6 as our radius, and then we could think of the negative 60 as our theta. So we know this is polar. This is a typical polar coordinate. You have a radius and a degree. So I'm going to Here's some formulas we must know. Let me write down some. So we want it in rectangular coordinates. Where um, you know, rectangular is when you have x comma y. So from the previous section, we know that x equals r cosine theta, and y equals r sine theta. So let's see. Um, first, we gotta figure out where is negative sixty degrees because we need that negative sixty is around. This is this is negative sixty degrees. It's also um, five pi over three. 
right? It's 5 pi over 3. So it has the coordinate of x of 1 half and a sine of negative root 3 over 2. So we need these because we're going to put it in this formula. So we set, we know our radius, so our radius is um, negative square root of 6. So x equals negative root square of 6 times by cosine theta. So we know that cosine of negative 60 is positive 1 half. So that gives us negative square root of 6 over 2. And let's do our y. We know our radius is negative square root of 6. And then we know the sine of negative 60 is negative root 3 over 2. So that gives us, okay, so 2 negatives becomes positive, and then the square root 6 times square root of 6 is square root of 18 over 2, and then square root, of root, square root of 18 is 9 and 2, so it's 3 square root of 2 over 2. So we know, so our, here's what we know, we know our theta is negative 60 degrees. So in rectangular coordinates, it would be, our x value is negative 6, negative square root of 6, over 2, and then our y coordinate is 3 square root of 2 over 2. This is our x and this is our y. So this is how you convert polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. And then the next problem would be like rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. So um, polar is always radius and then there's a theta. Now, yeah, now we're going backwards. No, it says convert rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. So polar is when, when we need a radius and a theta. So Sorry, just let me try to calm down. So we got to find the radius, right? Because we want to find polar. Polar is um radius comma theta. So let's find radius. So radius is this should be a review x squared plus y squared. So we know that um. Square, square root of 2 square is 2. Negative 2 square is positive 4. So that's square root of 6. Our radius is square root of 6. So first I'm going to have to draw it. Because I, I need to know theta and I need to know which quadrant it is in. So square root of 2 and negative 2. So let's call this square root of 2. And then x negative 2 is right here. So this is square root of 2, comma negative 2. So this is your x and this is your y value. So I gotta find theta, right? So how do I find theta? I do tangent of theta. And we know this is our x and, our, and what is tangent? y over x, so it's negative 2 over square root of 2. And then I want to rationalize the denominator, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by square root of 2. So we get tangent of theta equals negative 2 times square root of 2 all over 2. So that gives us tangent of theta negative, just negative root 2. So Remember, we, have, we want theta, so we're going to multiply everything by tangent inverse. So theta equals tangent 
inverse of negative square root of 2, and that is negative 54.7. So here's negative 54.7 degrees. Now, you can also make this positive, right? Since we know this is in quadrant 4, you could do 360 minus negative 54.7. If you do that, you get um, positive 305.3. But I'm just going to leave it with negative 54 because that's what the book gave us. That's the answer in the book. Okay, so we so let's look. So we know we have our theta and we have our radius. Now we can put it in polar coordinates. So our polar coordinates is radius, which is square root of 6, and then theta, which is negative 54.7. Or you could have used um, 305.3 degrees. Um, you could have done 360 minus 54.7. That gives us positive 305.3. Right, so either of these works, but I'm just going to put it this way, put it in negative 54 because that's what the answer in the book gave us. Okay, next pro. Now we're going to sketch the graph in polar coordinates. This isn't too hard. So first, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make a table and I'm going to go by... For theta, I'm going to go, I'm going to add 15 degrees until I get 360, right? We'll call this theta, and then we'll call this radius. So I'm going to start at zero. And then if you put in zero into this equation, you get zero. And then if I do 15, so here's theta. You just put, what I'm doing is just plugging it in to the equation. So if, with every C theta, you put 15 and then your radius should be 1.5. And I'm gonna keep on doing this until I, get, until I go around the circle. So that's 360, right? So I'm gonna add an additional 15 degrees. So 15, what's 15 plus 15? 30. And if you put 30, you get 2.6. 45, you get 3. 60, you get 2.6. 90, you get 0. 135. You get negative 3, 180, you get 0, um, 225, we get 3, positive 3, 270, we get 0, and then 315, we get negative 3. until you get to 360. Okay, now we can, now we have now we can plot it. Plotting it isn't too bad. It's just it's like the um first problem we did. So you need to know the radius and then you could have need to figure out is the degree going to be positive or negative. So over here we have a negative and a negative. I'll, I'll go over it. So we'll call this the x, we'll call this the y. Okay, so zero zeros, um, let's do 
3 and 45. So where we have a radius, so let's do, remember radius is like the x value. So here's 1, 2, 3. Okay, so here's 3. Now it says we have a 45 degree angle, positive 45. So from 3, we're going to move it to 45 degrees. So here, you kind of have to figure out how much is 45. So 45 is right here. And here's three, so it will look somewhere around here. So this is three comma forty-five. Let's do negative three right here. Negative three and let's do negative three and positive three fifteen. So this one's kind of tricky. So you have to figure out first let's plot the radius which is negative 3 right here now it says now our degree is 3 positive 315 so pot you're gonna have to go around the circle 300 a degree of 315 so you have to go this way until you get pot around 315 so it should, it should be around here So this is negative 3 and positive 315, right? So what you see how I did it? I said I first plotted the radius and then I went down. I went around the circle 315 degrees. So 300, if you did the calculator, 315 degrees would be around here. Okay, so let's do 3 comma 225. First plot the radius. And then 225. Oh, right here. So here's the here's my radius. And then we have to go to positive 225 degrees. So if you went positive 225, you would be around here. So this is three positive 225. And then let's do the negative 3 and positive, positive 135. So here's negative 3. We have to go around, go positive 135. So 135 is around here. Okay, so if you plot it, all of these, I'm not going to do it. I'm not, you can do it, but um, I, I already know how to... um. I already know how this looks like, so I'm not going to plot everything, but you should plot it. So it's going to look something like this. Okay, so it's going to look like a four-leaf rose. So yeah, so when you graph it, you have to make sure you first plot the radius, which is like the x value, and then you have to figure out which direction of which is the um, degree going to be positive or negative. So that's how you plot. It's not hard, it's just it's just tedious. Okay, now we have to write we're gonna um for each polar equation write an equivalent rectangular equation. So we have r equals four cosine theta. Just let me. F
Okay, I found it. Okay, so we have r equals 4 cosine theta. So what I'm going to do is, okay, so here's some, some of the formulas we're going to use. So r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And then x equals r cosine theta. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply. Let me rewrite it again. R cosine theta. I'm going to multiply both sides by r. So you get r squared equals 4r cosine theta. So when I do this, I, when I, I'll look at my um, equation, they look like an identity, right? This r squared right here is equal to x squared plus y squared. And then the x, this, this r cosine theta to this is just an x. So let's just fill in the blanks. So we said that r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So the left side is x squared plus y squared. And then this r cosine theta is just x. So it's going to be 4x. Then what I'm going to do is um, get the right side 0. So I'm going to get rid of this 4x. So I'm going to subtract 4x. So on the left side, we have x squared plus y squared minus 4x. 0, or you could just put it, the book gives us x squared minus 4x plus y squared. So this is your final answer. Okay, and then the last one is when we're going to, so we're going to convert a rectangular equation to a polar equation. So. y equals 2x minus 1, so I'm going to use some of the, I'm going to use what um, we know, so we know that x equals r cosine theta, and then y equals r sine theta. So, um, We just go, so wherever you see a y, you just plug in um, r sine theta, and wherever you see an x, you just plug in r cosine theta. So y, so on the left side, we're going to have r sine theta equals, and wherever there's an x, you plug in r cosine theta, so it's 2 times r cosine theta minus 1. So if Let's simplify. So this is 2r cosine theta minus 1, and then the left is just r sine theta. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to solve for r, right? So we can um add 1. So this is r sine theta plus 1 equals 2r cosine theta. So we wherever we see we have two r's, right? Let's get it all on one side. So let's get rid of this stuff. Let's move this to the right. So I'm going to subtract r sine theta. So we get 1 equals 2r cosine theta minus r sine theta. Since what do they have in common? They both have an r, so we can factor out an r. So that's r2 cosine theta minus sine theta equals 1. So look, now we want to solve for r. So we're going to divide everything by 2 cosine theta minus sine theta. 
two cosine theta minus sine theta. So r equals one divided by two cosine theta minus sine theta. And that's our final equation. Um, also note, you didn't have to do it my way. My way, you could have um, you could have um, right here. We could have just um, we could have just subtract two r cosine theta, and then leave the negative one there, and then solve for r. You would still get you would get a different answer, but it wouldn't be wrong. But I just did it the other way. So either way is right. And that's it for polar equations.